The city council takes up e-bike battery danger. There have been deadly fires and lots of property damage. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge has more. This morning, the FDNY removed an e-bike battery from an apartment fire on Cedric Avenue in the Bronx. The battery is non-stop. Charge, 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 charge. Fire. This year alone in New York City, lithium-ion batteries have caused 63 fires and have killed five people, including a 7-year-old boy and his 19-year-old sister, who were killed in their Astoria, Queens home last week. To prevent tragedy, City Council is considering two pieces of legislation. One is a battery trade-in program. Creating a program where somebody who has an unsafe, uncertified battery right now can come and trade it and they will get a safe battery. And if passed, they could do it for free or low cost. A second bill would mandate that businesses that use e-bikes must provide workers with fireproof containers to charge their batteries. A bag to put the charger in, uh, the battery in while it's being charged, uh, and that, it, that if it got into thermal runaway and started to burn, that, that it would not spread. Unfortunately, we have not found anything that meets that. Uh, it hasn't been developed yet. If and when it's developed, Westville Restaurant and Hell's Kitchen, which employs their own fleet of e-bike delivery workers, says it would be on board. We do definitely talk to our own team, at least, about safety and making sure that they understand why we're putting these rules in place. Last month, Mayor Eric Adams signed several e-bike safety bills into law, including requiring lithium-ion batteries sold in New York City to be certified and also to make it illegal to refurbish batteries. I got a good quality batteries. Okay. That's why I don't, I, don't, I don't use the cheap ones because we already know that's dangerous. The city says they want to make sure e-bike delivery workers like Alfonso can do their jobs and use basic equipment like batteries risk-free. In Manhattan, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.